Brooklyn Independent Television. Our next guest grew up in Flatbush and was the lead member of the pioneer hip hop group UTFO. UTFO, son! He's a multi talented entertainer, producer, and community organizer helping to raise donations for breast cancer research. Now, let's meet the one and only Kango Kid. Yo, EMD. Yeah, what's up, man? They go that girl they call Roxanne. She's all stuck up. Why you say that? Cause you wouldn't give a guy like me no rap. But she was I grew up wanting to be in the music business. Watching television is what raised me. Donnie Marie Osmond, the Jackson Five. Television taught me how to sing, taught me how to dance. Myself having three other brothers, it made sense that we get together and form a family group as well. Actually, rap wasn't something that was happening when I was a kid, so I just grew up saying I wanted to be an entertainer. I'm a member of one of the first nationally recognized rap groups. The group was called UTFO, Untouchable Force Organization, made popular by a rap song called Roxanne Roxanne. Roxanne, Roxanne. I wanna be your man. I was in Catholic school. You're supposed to wear a uniform every freaking day. By the time I graduated and I was getting ready to go to high school, I asked my mom, can I go to a public school where I can dress the way I want to dress? I purchased my first Kango hat as a form of liberation. I wore it so much that kids started to call me Kid Kango or Kango Kid. Those that didn't know my name would say, yeah, the kid that wears the Kango hat. Wingate High School is the school that I went to. East Flatbush is the hood. It's all about East Flatbush for me. So I'm back here, man, back in the hood. This is the school that produced me, Full Force, Lisa Lisa and Cult Jam, Corey from Living Color, MC Light. This made it happen right here, man. George W. Wingate High School. I swear to the world. <laughs> wow, I'm back at Wingate's Auditorium. This is where your boy was break dancing. Luckily, I danced well. Get a little pop move in right now. This lady right here lives in my old house. I would love to take a tour of my old crib, if you don't mind. Do your thing, girl. All right. <laughs> Funny story about that satellite dish back there. I was home one day after a tour, got a bunch of phone calls from people saying, you are the star of the week on BET. And I was like, what's BET? This is before Brooklyn had cable, all right? So the only way I was able to see this is I had to purchase a satellite dish. And I purchased that thing right there. That joint's been up there for almost 30 years. This is where we would record. This is the old Full Force place. I remember all the recording sessions, all the rehearsals. In order to become that celebrity from East Flatbush, you had to go to this place here, Full Force's studio. I am absolutely a parent who, like every parent, wants their child to be better than them. I absolutely would like my kids to do what they want to do, but I wasn't a fan of them being in the music industry. She's here in love, that's his. When I realized that they were pretty good at doing it, I said, okay, well then, learn the business. In the song, Roxanne, Roxanne, I say, I could sing, rap, and dance in just one show. And that is a line that they followed. There's a singer, there's a dancer, there's a rapper, in my three sons. And here they are now, loving this music business. And, you know, I, I support what they're doing. She's here in love, her mama. I've become a philanthropist. I couldn't even pronounce that word uh, a year or so ago, but it started with my manager's mom, Gay Francis Lucas. She had a three year battle with breast cancer. When she passed, you know, I didn't know how to handle this. I didn't know how to deal with this. I just knew that my mode has always been attack. Because from what I understand, no one really has to die from this disease. I went to my first line of defense, which is hip hop. I figured these are the cats that I want to reach out to so we can get this message out to everyone. <laughs> Right now, we're at the restaurant of hip-hop artist Dougie Fresh. And what we're doing here today is an event called Waiting for a Cure, where hip-hop artists are going to be the waiters at the restaurant serving the customers. Our intention is to raise awareness and raise funds. And uh, y'all need to come inside and see what's going on. 
birthday, big order over here. I am Mama Luke's daughter. My mom passed away from breast cancer on May 31st of 2010. We want to raise money to um, benefit the American Cancer Society. Our desire is to hopefully find a cure for this disease. We wanted to make sure that our community had preventative measures against breast cancer. This is the second annual Waiting for a Cure. Today we are your waiters. We are here to serve you. Dinko D from Leaders of the New School. This is Tito from The Fearless Four. Mike C from The Fearless Four. No eyes. Roxanne Shante right here. Give her a round of applause. My name is Roxanne Shante. I did a response record to UTFO, which sparked a lot of careers. And my reason for being here today is because I'm a breast cancer survivor. Being a survivor, it can be a lot of pressure. Because so many people don't survive, you want to make sure that you survive for a reason. Each year, I wear an apron and I have all of my customers sign it. So I think it's just my little reminder of being able to do good things for my community. We have our first $1,000 donation from Fisher Brother. Thank you so, so, so much. The one thing I'd like to say to Kango is thank you. Thank you for being so passionate about the cause. Thank you for loving my mom. And thank you for always remembering. It is my mother, and he always allows me that moment and that space to, to enjoy that. We took one particular shirt. I've had every notable hip-hop artist that I've come across sign this shirt, thereby today making this movement hip-hop's largest charitable movement ever. When we approached the American Cancer Society, sharing with them what we intend to do as hip hop, it was frowned upon. And that was all I needed. Like, really? You think we don't count? I'm going to show you. They honored me a few months ago, making me the first hip hop artist to ever be honored by the American Cancer Society. Every hip hop artist I've come across has signed this shirt. And the intention is to auction this off, and the money generated from this will definitely benefit the American Cancer Society. What has driven me all my life is having someone say, you can't. Like, I love those words now. When someone says, I don't know, that's a little far-fetched, I don't think you can really. Hold that thought, I'll be right back. And I stay focused until I can address that individual. Remember that thing you said I couldn't? I just did. Watch this and other Brooklyn Independent Television episodes online at brickartsmedia.org slash BIT.